So in this video, I want to talk briefly about variables, give you an overview, kind of an idea of what they are, and the ways you can go about creating them. So first off, what is a variable? Well, really, it's just a way to store data. And this data can be anything. It can be a number, it can be a name, it can be an actor that happens to be in your level. Lots of different things. We'll talk about the different types that a variable can be a little bit later. Now, the reason you'd want to store this data is in case you, for any reason, want to access it later. So, for example, if you know you're going to need to uh, change a value or you want to be able to read a value, like maybe figure out what is the current value of this number, you know that you'll need to store it in some kind of a variable. It's also important if you need to send some bit of information, some data, to another graph within your blueprint or to another blueprint altogether. So for example, if you need to send some type of value between the construction script and the event graph, then you need to store that data in a variable so that uh, both graphs can easily access it. Also, if you ever have some bit of information that you may need to send to another blueprint, for example, if you have a blueprint that has a character's health and you need to report that health to the level script or to another blueprint for any reason whatsoever, then you're obviously going to want to store that in a variable. An easy way to remember it is really any piece of information, any piece of data that, is, that seems in any way important to you should almost always be in a variable. Actually, let's just say it should always be in a variable. The more you start to work with blueprints, the more you start to, uh, to possibly come across instances where you realize you're only going to use a piece of information once, and at that point, you can just start connecting wires. But uh, even then, it's often easier to read and easier to work with uh, if you'll just go ahead and store things in a variable for later. Now, one other rule I do want to mention before we go on to creating variables is that all variables in Unreal must have a variable type or a data type if you're coming to this from any programming language, and they can only have one type. Now, I'm going to talk about the specifics on uh, data types in a, in a separate video. For now, just keep that in mind, that you have to assign a type to all of your variables. Now, let's jump over to Unreal, and we'll talk a bit about creating uh, these uh, variables. So I'm going to go into my Blueprints folder here, my project. By the way, this this is just a basic uh, third-person blueprint template. Uh, let's click on New, and I'll create a new blueprint from Actor. And we'll just call this Variable Workshop. And I'll go ahead and open this up. So uh, I don't really need uh, any sort of components to do what I want to do. But in case I want to bring this into the level, I am going to add a uh, billboard. This is just so that I can see the blueprint if I add it to the level. Now let's jump over to the graph. I'll go ahead and make this full size. Now creating a variable is a very simple thing. You can just click on the uh, add variable button and you can assign a name right away. So I'll call this my variable. And next you will have You'll see the details panel appear down underneath your My Blueprint tab by default. Uh, that will have the name for the variable, which you can change if you need to. And you also have the variable type. And this is that data type I was talking about a little while ago. Again, not going to get into all the different types here. That's something that we'll talk about in a separate video. So now that this blueprint, I'm sorry, now that this variable is created, I can bring it into my graph at any point uh, just by dragging it into the graph. This will open up a little sub menu asking if I want to get this value or set it to something. And I'm going to talk about the nuances of getting and setting, again, in a separate video. We'll try to keep this nice and bite-sized. But for now, I'll just go ahead and choose get, and there is my variable. So I could do things with it. I could, uh, in this case, use it maybe to drive a branch or things of that nature. Now, there's another very popular way to create a variable, and that is to promote it from some other operation in your level. A really uh, easy way to show this off uh, would be something like, say, if we had a math operation. So let's say float plus float. Now, just uh, off the top of, you know, just to kind of help you out, a float is any number with a decimal point. So if I said I had uh, 5.1, or 5.31, because that's what my fingers hit, uh, plus 6, for example. And I know I want to store that result as a variable. I can right click on this data output pin, and I can choose Promote to Variable. That will automatically create a variable that is asking for a name already. So I can just call this Math, or Maths Answer. <laughs> just in case there happen to be any British folks watching. So uh, we've now stored that in a variable. Notice, however, this create a set node. And this set node is going to require some sort of execution input in order to fire. Now, the more you get into blueprints, uh, the more you'll get used to seeing these execution wires. If you don't understand how those work, uh, you should probably just grab some of the uh, getting started blueprint videos that we have lying around. Uh, or we could say, 
something like uh, begin play. So as soon as the game starts, we immediately set that. That execution wire just controls when things happen. Now notice that set node was created because I right clicked on an output value, but you can also right click on an input value and choose promote to variable. And we could say uh, my plus this will be the name of my variable in this case. And notice it automatically created a getter and created the variable for me. So if you're unsure as to what type uh, your variable is going to need to be, in, on, in many cases it's often easier just to uh, create whatever it is you need to have happen and then take what its input or its output and promote that to a variable. Or of course you can just click on the add variable button. So that is going to wrap things up for this video. Thanks a lot.